Hi, I'm Dave and welcome to Carve Tools. My wife was having difficulty creating a split monogram using Cricut Design Space and she watched several videos that left her more confused how to create it. So she asked me if I could give it a try. I said, okay, my first question is what is a Cricut Design Space and what is a split monogram? So, this is Cricut Design Space, and it's used to create stuff and download to your Cricut Explorer Air. And I said, what's a split monogram? And here's an example of a split monogram. It's like this letter right here. It's just a letter, and it's split. How clever, a split monogram. So it's just got a space cut out. So she wanted to be able to design these things on Cricut Design Space, and here's one down here. And you can actually take these and import it over here to your Cricut and cut them out, but that's not original. Make your own stuff. Don't use somebody else's creation. Create your own. Be original. Okay, we begin with a new project, and we're going to make a new project, and I found out that using this is very similar to Adobe Photoshop. If you can use Photoshop and, other, and the other Creative Cloud programs, you can do this. This will be a cinch. Okay, let's add some text for our split monogram letter. Let's go here to the Add Text tool. We're going to use the letter K for Kim. And there's our K. It's small. We can't see what to do to work with it. So let's make it larger. While this K is selected, I can go over here to my Layers tool. This is just like Photoshop. I can turn this layer on and off by clicking the eyeball. And you'll see why that will be handy in just a moment. I can click that letter on this layer and I can go here to edit and I can change the font. I can change whatever font you want. You should know that. Okay. All right, let's go here and I want to cut this section out of the case. So how do we do that? Let's go here to insert shape. We're going to, I need a rectangle, but I clicked on square. I'm going to unlock the square and I'm going to drag it to the area I want to cut out. So it, I want it to cut out somewhere in this area right here, but I want it to actually be in the center. So I can, we'll just leave it right here. It's real easy to do. Left click the rectangle, hold your shift key down on the Windows computer and click the K. And now I have both layers selected. If you look over here at the layers property, you see they are highlighted here. Uh, there's not a lot of contrast, but both layers are selected. I'm going to go to up top to my alignment tool, and I want them to be center. So now they are both perfectly centered. So how do we get rid of that? In the middle here, let's go here to our slice tool, and it says split two overlapping layers into parts. That was, that's what we want to do. Click the slice tool, and your software is working. And it looks like the only thing that happened was it moved the rectangle to the behind the K. Well, actually it didn't. Look over here at the properties on the layers over here to the right hand side. You see the split K. That's what we want. These other layers we can turn off. Let's turn this one off. Turn this one off. And this one off. And there is our split monogram. But we need to add a little more to it. We need some bars in between it here. So let's go over here to our insert shape. I need a rectangle, but I'm going to choose square. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to drag it to about the size I need. I want it to be the same width, so I'm just going to drag it up here to size it and bring it over and that'll be good. And it's probably a little bit fat, so let's slim it down a little bit and I'm going to drag it down. And Notice it's not centered. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But the main thing is your rectangle needs to touch or cover the other part of your letter there. This is going to be important. I need one on the bottom also, so I'm going to left click my rectangle. I'm going to go up top, hit copy and paste, and there's my new bar. I'm going to drag it down, and it needs to touch the bottom also. These two layers need to overlap just slightly. Okay, so. That looks pretty ugly right there, doesn't it? So we need to center this. So I'm going to select all layers. I'm going to left click this bar, hold my shift key down on the Windows computer, click this bar, and I'm going to click my letter. And as you see over here, they are selected. This one selected the two squares and the image of the split K is selected. But now we want to center them. Go up top to our alignment tool, center horizontally. 
Ta-da, there it is, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that nice? But we still can't cut that out just yet. So all these layers are selected. I'm gonna go over here to my weld tool. It means join multiple layers into one shape. So we have one, two, three layers, and they are going to become one shape. Hit the weld tool. And there it is. I click on it and I can move it and drag it anywhere I want to. I can make it larger, I can make it smaller. And there's my split monogram. Well, you can actually add more stuff to that. You can cut it out just like that is. But let's go ahead and put a name in the middle of it. So let's go to add text. And I'm just going to type in our full name, Kim. And we're going to drag that down here. And you can unlock it and you can drag it any way you want to to make it fit in here and you can try to center it you can be real careful and figure out if that's centered but look here I'm just gonna leave it right there and I'm gonna course it's already selected hold my shift key down select the rest of the layers there I'm gonna go to a line and I'm gonna tell it to center and there it is directly in the center now I can cut this pattern out like this and it will actually she was doing this on a vinyl transfer for like a bag or t-shirt I don't remember but you could actually use two colors you could cut it out like this this would be one color that'd be another color if you want one color just select both select that text and this layer and you can weld those together and they are now one and you can go up here and you can cut it out and here it is. We're just going to use a 12 or 12 and we're going to use the reverse. I don't know why it does that. My screen's doing funky stuff. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. But that would be like for a vinyl transfer right there. I split monogram, name in the middle. So that was my little simple explanation how to make a split monogram on Cricut Design Space. I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, please subscribe and a thumbs up is always appreciated. I'm Dave. This is Carve Tools. Have a great day.